channel. In this video, I'm going to explain you the first chapter of science. By seeing this video's title, I think you have understood what is the topic. The topic is synthetic fibers. So yesterday I posted my first post. It was my first post. I kept uh, some photos related to this chapter. So how many of you guessed it right? Just comment and say me in the comment section. And the name of this chapter is synthetic fibers. Okay friends, synthetic fibers. All of you know what is natural fibers. But I think you have only some idea about synthetic fibers. So, uh, every day we wear clothes from morning, from sleeping, from night. When you sleep, from that time, when you wake up, morning, all the 24 hours, you wear clothes. All the 24 hours, you wear clothes. Well, we say, uh, what a human needs to live. We say, home, shelter, so shelter, food and clothes. So, cloth, cloth is a basic need in human life. It also comes under basic need in human life. When someone asks you what are the basic needs of uh, humans, we just say uh, shelter, food and clothes. In that, the basic need is coming under cloth also. So, let us talk about clothes today. So, clothes are divided into two categories. Okay, friends? Clothes are divided into two categories. One is cloth fibers. Cloth fibers are divided into two categories. One is natural fibers and the other one is synthetic fibers. Synthetic fiber. So, what is the difference between natural and synthetic fibers that we have divided them into two? Because natural fibers are obtained from plants and animals. They are obtained from plants and animals, which are natural. Plants and animals are natural. So, fibers obtained from those plants and animals are called synthetic are called natural fibers, sorry. So, what is synthetic fibers? What is synthetic fibers? From where synthetic fiber is obtained? What are the types of synthetic fibers? How many types are there? These are questions may come in your mind after seeing this three minutes. After seeing this three minutes, you get many questions in your mind what is synthetic fibers how many types of synthetic fibers are there what are they uh, how are they used what are their properties this is all we see so let us learn about synthetic fibers in this chapter so where are synthetic fibers obtained from natural fibers means plants and animal species are obtained from plants and animal species from where synthetic fibers are obtained? You get this question in your mind. So for that only, we see what are synthetic fibers? What are synthetic fibers? Fibers. Any fiber you take, fibers that are made by human beings. By right? human beings. Means natural fibers means we get that are not made by human beings. Human beings take out them from plants and animal species. But what are uh, synthetic fibers that are made by human beings only? So this is the logic here to think. Human beings, they are human beings, they are natural fibers. They just pluck out or kill the animal and take the skin for making clothes but mere synthetic fibers mere synthetic fibers what they do they make it by their hands other names for them are called man-made fibers what are their friends 
man-made fibers. Man-made fibers. Okay. Let us see what are man-made fibers. From where they are obtained. So, this man-made fibers are obtained from most of these synthetic fibers are obtained from coal, petroleum and natural gas. These three things, from these three things, all these synthetic fibers, means most of the synthetic fibers are obtained. They are petroleum, coal and natural gas. These three. Again, I am reminding you friends, just think for coal, petroleum, natural gas. Okay? And next, uh, what is synthetic fibers made of? It consists of multiple chemicals. It is made up of many chemicals. Multiple means we cannot see that where are the multiple chemicals because they form a single unit. These many, 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 many species form a one unit. These all different, different units come together and form one unit. What is this one unit called? Polymer. What is this one unit called? Polymer. Polymer. What is the meaning of polymer? Poly means, let us break it and see. Poly. Poly. What? What is poly? Poly means many. Poly means many. More means one unit. Or else unit. So what is a polymer? Many units. Units. Poly means many. More means unit. What is the meaning of polymer means? Many units. So these all many chemicals come and form one unit called single unit called polymer. And what are the examples of polymers? I mean, uh, synthetic fibers. How many types are there? There are five types of synthetic fibers. How many? Five types of synthetic fibers. Here I wrote five types. What are they? Rayon. Nylon, rayon, nylon, polyester, acrylic, and spandex. These are the five types of synthetic fibers. Let us start from rayon. Can you people see? Okay, let us start from rayon. What is rayon? Rayon is also called artificial silk. Because why is it called artificial silk? Why is rayon called artificial silk? Why? Because silk is a natural fiber. It is obtained from silkworm. And why this? This is not obtained from plants and animal species. Then why artificial silk? Why it is called artificial silk? Because it looks in appearance. It looks like the rayon looks like silk. Okay? It looks like it is rayon cloth. It is a synthetic fiber, but to see, but to see, it looks like silk. So it is called artificial silk because it is not a natural silk, artificial silk. So it is called artificial silk. And from where it is prepared? It is prepared from cellulose. It is prepared from cellulose. Cellulose means what? Cellulose means. It is obtained, which comes from wood pulp. Okay? So, see. Wood pulp. Wood pulp makes cellulose. Cellulose makes rayon. Okay? Rayon is made from cellulose. Cellulose is made from wood pulp. What is wood pulp? See here, this is the wood pulp. And this wood pulp. 
this wood pulp makes cellulose makes this cellulose so this is the picture of wood pulp see friends this small 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 what you say it is like this no small small but it is cut in small small pieces that is called wood pulp dash next properties of rayon what are the properties of rayon can anyone guess what you wear clothes every day but no one know what clothes what cloth we are wearing most of the people don't know i can't say that no one know uh properties yes. what are the properties of rayon friends maybe explain to me i will explain it absorbs sweat the first property and main property of rayon is that it absorbs sweat suppose think this is a rayon it is not rayon just think it is rayon and i uh, most of the people go for jogging or when uh, when there is no power or more heat is there we get sweat and we get some we will be uneasy to take it so what we will do we, we can wear rayon clothes we can wear rayon clothes and because it will be cool or what should i say suppose a man is wearing this shirt he is getting lots of sweat and he is not able to sit but it is a important meeting so what he will do so better to wear a rayon shirt if he wear a rayon shirt it will absorb the sweat and he will be free to take the meeting or else if he didn't wear that and go it's his problem he will be like that so he will problem 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 First is sweat. It absorbs sweat. And second property is it is shiny and lustrous. Before only I said it looks like silk. Silk. So silk. What is silk? It is very shiny and lustrous because uh, it is silk. It shines like anything. So uh, this we say this artificial silk for rayon. So. Rayon also looks like silk because it is shiny. Why it looks like artificial silk, friends? Why I said you it is looking like artificial silk because it is shiny and lustrous. So as it is shiny and lustrous, we say it artificial silk. So what are the uses of rayon? Can anyone guess? What is it used to make? Huh? So it is used to make suit. A suit we wear. So it absorbs sweat, and it is shiny to see. Lustrous also. What suits? So see, this is the suit. This is the suit, and it is a rayon cloth. It is made by rayon fiber. Okay, and next, next is bandages. The bandages when we get hurt, we keep no or any injury to our hands, legs, or anywhere. We keep bandages. If we get sweat inside, it absorbs the sweat. So it is also a. It also made by. It also rayon cloth. So see, this is the bandage. When we get a hurt. If we keep that, if we get sweat inside, also it absorbs. This is the bandage. And ties, we keep ties. That also is very shiny, so it is also a rayon cloth. Ties, four ties, three or something number. Bed sheets. Every day we sleep on beds and we keep bed sheets and sleep. So it we get sweat also it absorbs this sweat. Only rayon bed sheets, not cotton bed sheets. Only rayon bed sheets. It absorbs sweat. So this is the rayon bed sheet. See, it absorbs sweat. 
Next, cottage. It is also shiny and lustrous. So, curtain is also a rayon color. This is the curtain. Curtain. Next is nylon. What is nylon, friends? It is a second synthetic fiber. That's it. Finished. Chapter finished. About rayon only finished. Nylon. And friends, remember me. Abhinav is right here. At last, I will say you one thing about last video. Okay? Watch the video till last. And who commented about 3 by 3? You compulsory watch till last. Okay, friends? Um, see, nylon is a second synthetic fiber. So, what is, we gave uh, rayon artificial silk name. Then, what we will give to nylon? We will give to nylon the name, what name? First, true synthetic fiber. True synthetic fiber. First, true synthetic fiber. Okay, this is the first true synthetic fiber. And, when it was produced, it was produced in 1930s. It was produced in 1930s by DuPont Company. From where it is produced? Coal, petro, not petroleum, coal, water and air. So, this DuPont Company in 1930s, they produced nylon cloth from coal, water and air. From these three substances, they Producer nylon in 99 in 1930s who DuPont company people. So, what are the properties of nylon? It is so old cloth. Properties. Properties of nylon are it is elastic. So nylon has elastic. And does not lose strength even after repeated use. Means how many times mostly elastics will damage mostly. Because we stretch it. But this nylon elastic does not lose strength even after repeated use also. And next it is lustrous and easy to wash. It, we can wash it easily and it is waterproof. It is waterproof. So, easy to wash, easy to wash and waterproof. And the examples of nylon are socks. The socks we wear to schools, offices or anywhere, we use socks. So, it also has elastic. So, see this socks. It is also having elastic. And it will not lose strength. How many times you repeatedly use that also. It doesn't lose its strength. So this is the socks. One of the example of nylon. And next is tents. So see this nylon tent. The tent where people take the to camping. This also does not lose strength. After repeated use also. How many times you went to camping and use it also. It doesn't damage. So, this is the example, tent of nylon. Umbrellas. You open and close umbrella, open and close umbrella. And waterproof, you think here near waterproof. This sun tent also. Tent, when you go for camping, suddenly rain falls. Then that, uh, like normal cloths, if water comes inside, it doesn't absorb water. It is waterproof. And this uh, umbrella also. See this umbrella? It is also a nylon umbrella because when, why the whole umbrella? Because it is made by nylon, it is waterproof. Water doesn't come from that and come inside on our heads or fall on us. Okay. And next is parachutes. When you go up, parachute also, when you pour water also, it is waterproof. Nothing happens to us. And it is elastic. Next is toothbrush bristles. So, this is a parachute picture. 
parachute this is parachute a man going on a parachute and next is toothbrush bristles what is toothbrush bristles i will show you brush bristles so see you brush your teeth morning so you need to think what is toothbrush bristles small small strings friends small small strings this is not a brush it's a brush small small bristles this small small bristles are called toothbrush bristles see here toothbrush bristles is all small small bristles only bristles this stick is not made by nylon only this bristles is made by nylon so see this next is fishing nets the nets we use for fishing they will be like this fishing nets some fishermen use this nets to catch the fishes so that when the fishes come uh when the fishes are holded in this they cannot escape and it is also waterproof because it is we are we will throw in water that net to catch the fishes so Nothing happens to the net, so it is also waterproof. This is the fishing net. Yes, this I'm showing just the net, not the whole net. The design of the net. And next is climbing ropes. Ropes that we use to climb. That ropes are also made by nylon, elastic. This is the rope, climbing rope. Next is fishing nets finished climbing ropes finished and strings of badminton rackets or tennis rackets badminton or tennis rackets we use for playing there strings also did you observe anything all the strings are made by nylon the string see this is a badminton bat and the strings are used for making sorry you said Nylon is used for making these strings. That's it, friends, about nylon. And next is polyester. Are you enjoying, friends? Just comment and say me. Are you enjoying this video? Because I'm keeping pictures also. Next is most commonly used polyester. In this polyester only, the most commonly used polyester is is terylene. Is terylene. This is the most commonly used polyester, which is terylene. So, what are the properties of polyester? it is strong and light weight it is strong but it is a light weight so strong light weight and has good elasticity lightweight and has good elasticity and it can be washed and dried easily so some clothes if we wash and dry it now they don't dry fast but the clothes made by this polyester absorb the water fast and wash quickly and dry quickly okay and what are the use of polyester polyester is used to make Lightweight sails, sails. You know sails. How I wrote this, oh friends? Like this. I wrote it in chalk like this. Sails. Again, see. I'll zoom you and show you, friends. S A I L S. Okay, 
it is just the fun part of the video okay and what is example of polyester lightweight sails these are the light this is the lightweight sail and it is made by polyester next is magnetic recording tips audio in audio cassettes Olden days, the uh, audio cassettes, video cassettes used to be in and out. Now, modernly, we use phones, laptops, even laptops are having cameras. So, in olden days, audio cassettes, we are having mics to record our voice and phone recorder app also we are having to record. But, in olden days, they used to have audio cassettes to listen, use for any phone so that magnetic tapes are also used in, since the magnetic tape and see friends i will press like this and one t-shirt sorry shirt will come this is the polyester shirt okay it is made by polyester and skirts this skirt is also made by polyester and next last example of polyester is formal formal suits this is the formal suit okay acrylic what is acrylic this is the fourth fourth crayon nylon polyester and acrylic is the fourth one fourth what fourth this is the fourth synthetic fiber it is also called as orlon acrylic is also called as Acrylic is also called as Orlon or Acrylic. Acrylic. Orlon or Acrylic. Okay, they are having three names Acrylic, Acrylic, Orlon. And it closely resembles full. Nylon? Oh, no, no. This rayon resembles silk, acrylic resembles wool. Okay, it looks like wool. Okay, it is warm. Watch it warm, it will be warm in cold seasons and soft, light, and flexible. Okay, it is resistant to moths and chemicals. Chemicals doesn't come near this acrylic cloth. So, what are the examples of acrylic? Acrylic sweaters, it makes us warm and light, smooth. So, sweater, this is the acrylic sweater. Sweater, sweater. And shawls, shawls, see, this is a shawl. And carpets, carpets we wear down, no? To be warm in cold seasons when we walk also it will be warm for us without wearing socks we can wear a carpet and walk on that carpet gray color carpet which color friends gray blankets to be warm to feel warm we keep blankets and sleep so this is the blanket folded blanket and next is last topic is spandex. Spandex. Why did I read that? Don't you spandex? Spandex. So, spandex is also called as lick like lycra. Lick like lycra. Lycra. It's also called as lycra. Spandex is also called as lycra. Lycra. And it is produced by who? Again, it is DuPont chemist. DuPont. Companies, chemists produced this spandex 
I will show you the picture of the chemist also. He is Joseph Shivers. Joseph Shivers introduced the spandex fiber. The, he is Joseph Shivers. See, he is Joseph Shivers. He only introduced spandex. So, see. Just click a photo me. Okay. Properties. What are the properties of spandex? It has excellent elasticity. It is elastic and nylon. Nylon only friends. What I said you? Yes, nylon also has elastic elasticity. But this spandex has more than that excellent. But I give a smiley to that. Excellent elasticity it is have. Which makes it suitable for making clothes that need snug fitting. Which needs snug fitting, tight fitting. They were clothes of spandex. What are examples? Swimming costumes. See this swimming costume. Small kids swimming costume. It is also made by spandex. It also needs snug fitting. And next is. It is also mixed with cotton. It is also mixed with natural fiber cotton to make caps. Some caps we keep, not normal hats or caps we keep. Special spandex caps. See, this is the black spandex cap from front side and back side. Next is t-shirts, not shirt. T-shirt, you remember what is the difference between shirt and t-shirt, I will say you. T-shirt. That is you think T. Normal shirt will be full hands. How is my drawing of T-shirt parts? Shirt. T-shirt means T-shaped shirt. T-shaped shirt. T-shirt shirt. Okay. And shorts. See T-shirt. Spandex T-shirt. Okay. It is spandex T-shirt. And a man is wearing it because he needs snug fitting, tight fitting. And what is the expert? Shorts. Shorts we wear for snug fitting are come under spandex. Spandex. And other sports wear. Any sports wear. Shorts. Anything. Shorts. Shorts. Pants. All this tight fitting one come under. Spandex. So this is all. This is all about. This is all about synthetic fibers. And let us give a small recap with pictures of synthetic fibers. So fibers that are made by synthetic fibers. Sorry, fibers that are made by human beings are called synthetic fibers. They are produced from coal, petroleum, and natural gas. We can. Okay. Next. Five types of. <coughs> Excuse me, friends. Five types of synthetic fibers: rayon, nylon, polyester, acrylic, spandex. First, rayon. Okay. Examples of rayon are suits, bandages. Oh, my face. Suits, bandages, ties, bed sheets. Curtains. Okay. Next, nylon. Examples: socks, socks, tents, toothbrush bristles, parachutes, fishing nets, climbing ropes, rackets, strings, tailing, means polyester, lightweight cells, magnetic recording tapes, shirts, skirts, formal suits. Next is acrylic, sweaters, shawls, carpets, blankets. Next is spandex, swimming costumes, caps, t-shirts, shorts and other sportswear. And who makes spandex? 
Joseph Shivers. Joseph Shivers. Okay, friends, that's it. This is the explanation of of synthetic fibers. We have completed the first chapter of the first chapter of science, first chapter of English, first chapter of maths as well as second chapter of maths also. So, I said you, I will say you one important thing in my, while explaining something, the five, something I was explaining you. And in my last video, I said you, how many of you got three by three? And no one watched my video, whole video. I said you, I will test. No one watched my whole video. But there is one person, uh, I think, Keyboard Melodies. Yes, Keyboard Melodies. She said me, I got three by three. I saw the whole video. Yes, friend, only she, I think only she watched my whole video. Please watch my whole video or at least for two minutes before commenting uh, from last week to today i got more than 50 spammed comments please watch my video for two minutes then write comment or else if you like watch the whole video because it's very interesting topics today's topic is synthetic fibers I liked it so much. And natural fibers, you all know, I think. So, I did explain you. If you want, just comment and ask. I will explain you natural fibers also. Okay, friends. And keyboard melodies, congratulations. You got three by three. Okay. And thank you for watching my whole video, keyboard melodies. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. And press the bell icon and comment. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye. It's shout-out time. First comment of shout-out is from Kozi Health. Nice teaching, good explanation. Thank you so much, friend. Second comment of shout-out is from Maxi Van Joy. You are a great teacher, dear. Thumbs up. Thank you so much friend, I'm glad you felt that way. Third comment of shout out is from Fitness Magnitude. Excellent teaching tutorial on English. Those little things are always great to be reminded of regarding English. Very good lesson. Great job Tanishka. Like. Have a nice, nice day. Thank you so much friend for your encouragement and have a nice day. Fourth comment of shout out is from Angel Agubata. Amazing, interesting, educative and very helpful. Thanks for sharing. Thank you so much friend. Fifth comment of shout out is from Keyboard Melodies. And she is the one who got 3 by 3. And she commented very well presented about tenses. You have explained it so well. Very useful for students. Will definitely share it with my friends kids. Liked it thoroughly. You are really talented and very well delivered video. Keep up the good work and share with us. Three types of tenses are present past and present past and future tenses. See, my answer is absolutely correct. Score three marks. Yes, friend, you are excellent and thank you so much for this big message. Thank you for watching.